I love training dogs. I do think that there's two different styles of raising dogs and training dogs, and that the style that I'm comfortable with is a Buddhist approach as opposed to a Christian approach. Not that one is better than the other, but I do think that they're very distinct styles. A Christian approach would be about behavior equals consequence. If you do this, you get this. If you don't, then you'll have to experience this pain. Karma dog training, it's about the process used. The process literally becomes the goal. So the process is the goal in every moment. I open this prayer dialogue by aligning myself with divine love and divine light. And I ask that all my spirit guides... You know, people are going to watch this and think, this guy's on drugs. All right, I'm just going to do my thing. This is what I do. This is who I am. I'm a holy man. Is he fine walking on a leash? No. He wants to walk one way and I want to walk another way. Do you think um, it would be more pleasurable for the two of you if you were more in sync? Yes. Because you are the pack leader, we really want to make it so the dog enjoys following you. We do that around the house first. Luke, come. Good boy. Now, he's already used to targeting my finger. All I'm going to do is turn around on him and start rewarding him for being in the heel position. We do this all off leash. Luke, good boy. Now, because dogs see and learn in pictures, just like autistic people do, I, I need to establish a new picture in his mind because he's used to sitting this way and seeing me from the front. I want him to now make the association of seeing me in this picture, from this view. And so what I'm gonna do is, when he's by my side, click and treat. Then I'm gonna take one step forward and have him target my finger. Good boy. As long as he's targeting the finger, he's thinking this is great. And he's learning to follow me. Good boy. You know what's amazing is that usually if I'm in the room, yeah. he won't go with someone else. Not for a treat, not for food, not for anything. He's the one making the association that following me is a good thing. You meet a dog and you know for me, I, I know how advanced this soul is. And I don't, I don't really see them as dogs so much as I see them as souls who chose to incarnate as dogs for the lessons that they were gonna need to provide me with. No one can give him enough attention. <laughs> he gets so excited that he wants to jump on the person, knock them down. I get a little bit scared when I see kids because I know that unfortunately he could do damage because he's so heavy. And this is becoming a problem. On some level, he's getting reinforced for that behavior. What do you think you might be doing, letting him know that jumping up actually gets him what he wants? <laughs> we give him kisses, we give him hugs. We're like, ooh, we're so happy to see him too. I think that you're doing a wonderful job with him, bro. Yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah, you are. You can tell he's very happy with you, which to me is the most important thing. Yeah. He's missing a few rules, that's it. Just a, a few simple boundaries when it comes to being overly excited. I understand because we need a quick result, you may choose a more aversive process. There's many different ways to get to a specific outcome, but if you were the dog, which method would feel appropriate? I would like to teach Oompa everything pleasurable for Mr. Oompa, he only gets after he's in a calm state of mind. Does he, does he sit automatically like that um, when you ask him? He will, but sit. He doesn't do it right away. Sit. Oompa. Sit. Okay. Good boy, Oompa. Now, one of the things that's interesting about dogs is that they do know how to count. So, I want you to be able to only ask him once and then give him up to 30 seconds, even 45 seconds, to figure it out. Okay. Instead of asking him again and again. Oompa. Come here. Sit. Now I'm only going to say it once, and when he does sit, I'm going to reinforce that behavior with the click. Good boy. And just do that a couple of times and now incorporate the stay that follows the sit. Oh, that's, that's yeah. going to be challenging. So you're going to click, not for the sit, but for the stay. For the stay, okay. Yeah. Oompa, sit, stay. Good boy. I have no teeth. 
for you, though. So we, we want the come, sit, stay so ingrained that he, that he literally does this in his sleep. <laughs> five minutes, five days a week is all it takes. So come. Sit. They're not goal-oriented. Their goal is the moment. So if the process of training doesn't uplift us, then I think we'll be compromising our relationship with the dogs. He decides, okay, well, I'm going outside after yeah. I finish eating. Mm -hmm. I didn't okay. go to the restroom, and as soon as I walked him mm -hmm. in, he goes inside the house. Well, there's a very, very simple way to deal with that. First thing in the morning, you take him out, no matter what. Okay? You literally take him, either he follows you out to his spot, or you put him on a leash. So this is all normal. He wants to play. He's, he's, um, he's starving to, play, to learn how to be a dog. If she has to sw swat him, that's not a bad thing. Okay? It's not? No, it's not a bad thing. That is probably the best thing for him. Well, she's on my notebook now, so... <laughs> hey! Too much like dogs. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. All right, that's fine. <laughs> I won't look at her. Um, is she gonna. Be careful. She might. Oh, she might jump on me? Yeah. Okay. Yep. See? Anyway. <laughs> <All right. laughs> she knows I'm the dog. I have like seven different scents all over me of dogs. Yeah, so she's not happy with that. Okay. Come here. Go. Go. Okay. Um, I'm telling you, she's. she's Goes by her name, Princess. Yeah. Right. I have a couple of other names. I, <laughs> I really believe in my heart of hearts that I will be a dog if I'm brave enough in my next life. If not, then maybe uh, a couple of lifetimes from this life. <laughs> I'm <being afraid. laughs> okay, guys. I don't French kiss them like I'm accused of. I just let them stick that tongue on the side of my cheek.